The war against Troy. In Turkey lies the plain where the town of Troy once stood. The walls of the town were said to have been built by Poseidon himself. It was around these walls that the most famous war in all of Greek mythology took place, the Trojan War. When Helen, the wife of the great the Greek king Menelaus, was abducted by Paris, a prince of Troy, a thousand Greek ships set sail for Troy to lay siege to the city and rescue her. The Judgment of Paris The conflict began at a wedding to which all the gods were invited except for Eris, the goddess of strife. In spite, she threw an apple with the words for the fairest among Athena, Hera and Aphrodite. Zeus asked Paris to choose who should receive the apple. Athena offered wisdom and Hera all, a all of Asia. But Paris took Aphrodite's offer, marriage to Helen, the most beautiful woman in the world. The Greeks set sail. The problem with Aphrodite's offer was that Helen was already married to Menelaus, king of Sparta. When Paris visited Sparta, Aphrodite magically made Helen fall in love with him and helped him kidnap her and take her to Troy. Menelaus was furious and sought help from his brother Agamemnon, king of Mycenae, and from many other Greek kings and princes who were then called Achaeans, including heroes such as Achilles and Odysseus. At first, the Greek ships wandered as their leaders were not sure of the way to Troy. Then the ships were scattered by a storm and had to return to Greece. But eventually they regrouped and a massive fleet of a thousand ships set sail towards Troy in order to rescue Helen. They laid siege to the city in a war that lasted 10 years, with both sides being helped or hindered by different Olympian gods, who each had their own reasons for joining in the struggle. Achilles. The Greek hero Achilles was nearly invincible because his mother had dipped him in the river Styx as a baby. In doing so, she had held him by his heel, which did not get wet and thus remained vulnerable. At one point during the Trojan War, Achilles refused to fight. The Greeks began to lose, and so his friend, Patroclus, donned Achilles' armour to give the Greeks the impression that their hero was fighting with them once more. The ruse worked, but Patroclus was slain. Angrily, Achilles fought and killed Hector, the mightiest champion of the Trojans and the brother of Paris. But Achilles himself was slain by an arrow shot by Paris that struck him in his vulnerable heel. The Trojan Horse After the death of Achilles at the hands of Paris, the Greeks were unsure how to continue their war against the Trojans. For although they had won many battles against them on the wide plain in front of the city, they were unable to get into the city itself. And as long as the walls of Troy stood, they could not finish the war by actually rescuing Helen. But then the Greek hero Odysseus came up with a cunning plan to break the deadlock. Odysseus ordered the Greeks to build an enormous horse, a symbol of the god Poseidon, out of wood. Then he hid in the hollow belly of the horse with a number of other Greek heroes while the main Greek fleet set sail, pretending that they had given up hope of winning the war and were returning home. <clears throat> in reality, the fleet merely sailed to the nearby island of Tenedos and waited out of sight. The Trojans, believing that the Greek army had finally left and that the wooden horse was a gift, dragged it into the city in delight. But that night, Odysseus and the Greek heroes crept down out of the wooden horse and opened the gates of Troy. The Greek fleet returned and the soldiers flooded into the city. The sleeping Trojans were completely taken by surprise. The Greeks had no trouble sacking and burning the city. Helen and Menelaus were reunited. Paris was killed and the ten-year war was finally over. However, although the Greeks set out to return home at once... Many of them, including Odysseus himself, faced difficult journeys and adventures that would, in some cases, last another ten long years.